welcome po sa ating Ecclesia in the Home, 8 o'clock Arctic. Ito po yung battle cry natin sa ating devotion. At ang Ecclesia, ito po ay isang Greek word na kung saan ang ibig sabihin ay church. Ang isang church po, ito ay ako, ikaw, siya at tayo. Kristiyano o nakakakilala o may personal na relasyon sa ating Panginoon.
Pagpalang gabi po sa inyong lahat, um, wag nyo pong i-exit. Tama po na naririto po tayo ngayon sa CHCC 8 o'clock habit. Ako po si Carm and uh, lingit po sa kaalaman ng nakararami na higit na isang taon na po tayong magkakasama sa 8 o'clock habit. Uh, isa po ako sa araw-araw na nagko-comment at bumabati sa inyo tuwing gabi. So ayun po, uh, part po ako ng uh, tethawag na keyboard warriors o tao sa likod ng mga online activities ng Church on the Hill, Christian Community, social media. Yan. So, um, maaaring nagtataka po kayo kung nasan po si na Pastor Arnel. So, ayan po sila. Uh, kasama ko niyo po silang nanonood ngayon. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ng leading ng Holy Spirit kay Pastor. Um, after ng aming financial planning, nang itap po niya ako para mag-speak, magbahagi, ng salita ng Diyos in line with my profession. And by profession po, I am a uh, certified public accountant. And at the same time, a uh, licensed financial advisor din po ako ng Sun, La Sun Life of Canada, Philippines. So bago po tayo mag-start, uh, mag-pray po um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to, to listen to your word this night, O God. We thank you, Panginoon, dahil Ah, uh, yung Holy Spirit niyo Lord yung uh, maglulukot sa amin oh God. And I pray Lord na na gamitin niyo po ako as your mouthpiece, yung bawat sasabihin ko oh God ay magaling po sa inyo. Lord, may you open our hearts, may you um, open our mind oh God also. And may we receive uh, your truth ngayong gabi pa ngayon. Oh. And may we be able to share it to others oh God. And Lord, we thank you for this night. Uh, we love you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So, una po, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is, um, ano ba yung design, God's design for managing money? So, alam po ba natin na ang basic principles of uh, managing our finances ay nakasulat sa Bible? Yes po. Sa book of the Proverbs na nga lang po eh, marami po doon. And the scriptures uh, offer a wealthy habit kung paano natin niyo honor si God the way we make money, spend money, give money, save, invest, and leave money for our families. Kung trace back po natin ito, uh, ililid po niya tayo sa very beginning. So, saan po ba yun? Um, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, um, basahin po natin. Ang sabi po dito, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Pag sinabi po in the beginning, ano po yung uh, unang pumapasok po sa ating isip? Um, pwede nyo pong i-comment. Kailang po. Ayan. So, um, pag sinabi in the beginning, di po ba uh, may isip natin na ah, ito pa lang yung simula. So, there is more to come. And kung mapapansin po natin yung creation ni Lord from day 1 to 6, meron po siyang order. Hindi dahil naisip lang ni Lord parang gano'n, na yun yung unahin. Meron po itong purpose kung bakit gano'n siya. And because God is the God of order, it was intentionally made the way with a purpose. That way with a purpose. And ang next po is, um, in the beginning, ibig sabihin, um, it anticipates uh, its ultimate end. So, pag may beginning, hindi po, ma hindi po ba meron ding end. So, uh, yung sa creation po, my future future end goal si Lord. May patutunguhan po ang lahat ng ito because um, God is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. 
And ang third point po natin is, um, pag sinabing in the beginning, sabi nga po da, sa Genesis 1 verse 1, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So makikita po natin dun na, uh, the creator or si God is the owner. God is the owner and king of everything. By virtue of this truth, that everything was created by Him and for Him. So the Creator has the right and responsibility to ensure that His creation serves His purposes. According sa Psalms 24 verse 1, basahin po natin, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. So, dapat yung God's creation should motivate us our response of worship kay Lord. And we depend we depend on Him for everything. So, it is very important na malaman po natin ang identity ni Lord. Kasi if we know this by heart, mind, and soul, um, wala po tayong magiging problema in handling our finances. So, first truth about God regarding sa, uh, sa finances and sa creation. God is the owner and man is the manager. Uh, yes, we may have the deed of sale. Nakapangalan sa atin ang titulo ng mga properties. Maybe we have a uh, certificate of stocks. Hmm, ano pa bang mga documents yung makakapagpatunay sa atin na ang isang bagay ay pag-aari natin. But you know, uh, if we operate from this mindset, alam po ba natin na we also own the stress? Yes po. We feel the duty to protect it. And um, may tendency na i-hoard po natin ito. So kung gusto po natin ng stress-free living, let's change our mindset into uh, from ownership to stewardship. Uh, share ko lang po na last March, na last March po ata yun, during a board meeting with a uh, board of trustees, I was told na, um, Karm, this is also your school. And actually, um, and honestly, nagulat po ako. And a part of me is not comfortable about the idea of it. And di ba pag, usually pag sinasabi, alibawa, Sinabi ng parents niya na, um, bahay mo rin naman to. Sa'yo rin naman to. Parang, oh ba wow. Parang sinasabing uh, co-owner ka. Andun yung, andun yung ownership. So, di ba parang wow. Ang saya. Pero that night, uh, as I was praying for the school, binasa ko ulit yung book na pinahiram sa akin ni Pastor. And, Na-remind ako na, eto nga, God is the owner and we are just His manager. His is the word. So, nag-pray ako ulit na, Lord, uh, this is your school. I am only your steward, tagapangalaga. And I don't want to own this school kahit sa isip o sa salita. For it is yours alone. We dedicate this school for your honor and glory. So, let your will be done always sa school na to. So, after that, I slept in peace. You see, God is the owner and we are just the stewards. Gusto mo bang maging successful in career, in your job, in your business, in your life? Let's manage His resources according to His design and desire. Yun lang naman yun eh. Pero syempre, uh, it is easier said than done. Kaya here's another truth. Um, God is the subject. Actually, hindi po natin namamalayan. No? Uh, during this pandemic, hindi, hindi lang during this pandemic, there is a pandemic uh, we call spiritual myopia. At ang tanging cure is uh, let God be the subject of every aspect in every area of our lives. 
most of the times kasi um, self-centered tayo. Palaging it's all about me, myself, and ay yung drama natin sa buhay. Yung prayers natin, uh, we tend to pray to, for our needs. Centered to us. Minsan, we think the world revolves around us. Ang madalas na tanong natin, what's in it for me? Or anong pakinabang ba sa akin yan? So, only when we rightly understand the context of ownership of God can our lives have meaning and purpose. We can only know true happiness and when we accept and act upon the principles of stewardship He designed in the creation. So, kung may intindihan lang po talaga natin yung tamang context ng ownership ni Lord, doon lang natin malalaman yung tunay na uh, kahulugan at direksyon ng buhay natin. Magkakaroon tayo ng joy in our hearts as we act according to God's design and desire. Siguro, um, natunong nyo na rin, are material things good or bad? Meron po kasing ilang point of view wherein they consider material things are inherently evil. Pag sinabing inherently, simulat sa pool, evil yung mga material things, ganun. Or it is temporary, worthless, unreal. Meron ding ang views nila yung material things yung nagme-measure ng uh, value sa buhay nila. When life's value is measured in terms of material possessions, one's relationship with God and others always become secondary. So, on the point of view ng Bible, all material things were created by and derive from God. And second, yet, they are temporal and not eternal. So, yung paggamit natin ng material things must be consistent with our created purpose. Actually, there are appropriate usage of God's creation. Binigyan din niya tayo ng warning about this. So, number one, warning, God warned us not to use material things as images of deity, as idols to be worshipped. So, basahin po natin sa uh, Exodus 20, verse 4 to 5. Sabi po dito, You must not make yourself an idol of any kind or an image of anything in the heavens or on the earth or in the sea. You must not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, who will not tolerate your affection for any other gods. I lay the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family is affected, even children in the third and fourth generations of those who reject me. So, instead of we worship the Creator, Ang nangyayari, we are now worshiping the creation. Nagiging um, sila na yung idols, sila na yung deity. Yan. So, let's be careful with that. And number two, God warned us about laying up treasures on earth. So, uh, basahin po natin yung Matthew 6 verse 24. Sabi po dito, No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. And uh, tingnan din po natin sa Luke 12 verse, verses 13 to 21. So, it is about the parable of the rich fool. 
I will just read you verse 17 to 20. Um, uh, 16. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, What should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, Friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. Now, take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool! You will die this very night. Then who will get everything you work for? So, makakita po natin dun, no? Na uh, the rich man is a fool. Dahil uh, nag-store siya ng earthly treasure. And ang pinaka-main goal niya sa buhay is uh, magpakayaman. Magpakayaman and then taking life easy, eating, drinking, and be merry. Yun lang. Yun lang yung goal niya. So, Winawarn tayo ni Lord na maging katulad niya. Dahil tulad, tulad nun, um, that very night, namatay siya. So, para saan yung mga pinaghirapan niya? Diba? And number three, uh, Jesus taught us about the proper use of money and possessions. Basahin natin sa Mark 10, verses 17 to 31. I will read. As Jesus was starting out on his way to Jerusalem, a man came running up to him, knelt down, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to inher inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked. Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not testify falsely, you must not cheat anyone, honor your father and mother. Teacher, the man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. Looking at the man, Jesus felt genuine love for him. There is still one thing you haven't done, he told him. Go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. So, yun pala no, uh, itinuturo din ni Lord yung proper use of our uh, money and possessions na uh, we just not we just not accumulate and accumulate for ourselves. We should uh, share it to others. Kasi yun yung desire ni Lord. Yun yung sinasabi niya dito. And all created things, including man, have one ultimate purpose in life. Or ultimate purpose. It is to give glory to our God. And yun na. Uh, baka may magtatanong na, uh, so, huwag na lang mag-store up ng earthly treasures, ganyan, ganyan. So, although hindi natin ma-maintain yung, or hindi natin madadala ang earthly riches pag kinuha na tayo ni Lord, maaari naman natin itong gamitin for the furtherance of the kingdom. You use it for, the, for God's glory. And maybe some point of our life, Natanong nyo na rin sa sarili nyo. Yun nga, is it wrong to be wealthy? Is it wrong to desire to be rich? Will it separate me from God? Um, may I ask you also, do you believe that God is a generous God? Yes, di ba? You're right. And, uh, ang purpose nan, no more material things is actually this. God provided for man's existence. He even prepared the world for us to inhabit 
and use it for our joy. For joy. But remember, uh, uulitin po natin, we are not the subject. Hindi tayo yung bida dito. It is not all about us. It is not wrong to desire to be wealthy. Just make sure na we use it according to God's instructions, according to God's design and desire. And second point, God provided for man's enjoyment. So yung mga material things we provide yun ni Lord for our enjoyment. It is intended to enjoy uh, His good creation and live in gratitude and trust. Uh, remember, uh, gratitude is the word. Most often kasi ano eh, uh, we take it for granted. Uh, we believe na we deserve this or that. Kasi pinaghirapan ko naman to eh. Ako naman ano na to kaya ako na-achieve eh. Ayun, meron na tayong pride. We, we again forget na God is the owner of everything. We own nothing in this world. Blessings come from Him. Kung ano man yung natanggap mo, galing yan kay Lord. It's not all about us. And point three, uh, material things. God designed for man's enrichment. When we say uh, enrichment, it means to add beauty or to enhance. So material things provide the means and opportunity of a man's development and maturation in spiritual, physical, and aesthetic appetite. So uh, we use material things to in for our enhancement, for our enrichment. And yung development natin na ito, we give it back to the Lord. Kasi siya naman yung nag-provide na ito eh. Dinisay niya ito para sa atin. And number four, it proves an instrument for self-expression. And through created things, man can express his creative abilities in work and his devotion to God and his kingdom in worship. And by this, uh, it becomes an opportunity and means now we can participate in God's activity on earth. So lahat ng ito, yung existence for our existence, for our enjoyment, uh, enrichment, and self-expression. Lahat ng ito, it falls back to stewardship. We are part of creation. And we need to recognize that we are stewards. Stewards lang tayo ni Lord. We own nothing. And now that we know the identity of God, alamin naman natin yung identity natin. Kung paano tayo din sign ni Lord, ano ang role and purpose natin. So, sa point na you question yourself. You feel worthless. You feel insignificant, undervalued. Yun bang ang liit ng tingin mo sa sarili mo? And I would just want to share this verse. And let's all absorb this. In Genesis 1 verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that crawls around the ground. Anong ibig sabihin yun? Kung makikita po natin, God created everything with you, with me, with us in mind. And we are created in His image, both male and female. We are God's caretaker. Yung two phrases na sinasabi, in our image, according to our likeness, are bold affirmations proclaiming that God has a plan and a purpose for our life. As a man, uh, 
we have three elements or characteristics. Man is, uh, number one, relational. We are not uh, designed to be alone creatures. Sabi nga, di ba? Uh, no man is an island. We need the fellowships of other, of others. And our greatest uh, relational need is to live in intimacy with God, with our Creator. According to a French uh, philosopher, sabi niya, there is a God-shaped God vacuum in our heart that only God can fill. And our life and purposes are found in Him alone. And number two, Man is rational. Pag sinabing rational, uh, we, we have the ability to understand and respond. Among other the creations, among, among the creations of the Lord, we are unique. Bakit? Because we can hear and respond to God. Yun yung pinagkaiba natin sa lahat ng creations ni Lord. We are very unique. And number three, man is responsible. Uh, when God uh, when God said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and every creature that crawls on the earth. On Genesis 1.28. Nung sinabi ito ni Lord, nagpronounce siya ng blessing and assignment to man and woman. Now we know that we have an accountability we are responsible to manage the world according to the design and desire of God. When God said, uh, subdue and rule, uh, it does not imply possession in terms of stewardship. Walang transfer of ownership done. So being rational, relational, responsible are three elements of our role as stewards or tagapangalaga. So, ano being stewardship? Uh, according to Miriam's Webster Dictionary, stewardship is careful and responsible management of something entrusted to one's care. So, ang steward is a uh, manager. Tagapangalaga. And the most uh, fundamental requirement for a steward is to be found faithful. Makikita po natin yan sa 1 Corinthians uh, 4. Verse 2. And being a steward, it contains uh, both blessing and mission. Pag sinabi kasing blessings, uh, most of the times we often focus on the gift and we tend to ignore yung responsibility, responsibility natin on how uh, we will handle it and how we will use it. It is the mission aspect. God created man in his image. To be the recipient of his blessing so that we can in turn to be the conduit of his blessing. Sabi nga eh, we receive blessings to be a blessing to other people. O ba? Ang ganda pala ng plan ni Lord. Pero suguro marami sa atin ang magsasabing, hmm, parang di naman, parang di ko naman ramdam. Na-feel nyo ba yun? Bakit kaya? It is because of the impact of the fall. The impact of the sin. Sabi sa Genesis 3 verse 17. The ground is cursed before because of you. You will eat from it by means of painful labor all the days of your life. Diba? We can still feel the impact ng kasalanan. Have you ever felt um, working and working and working just to pay bills, just to pay debts. Yun bang ang motto natin sa buhay is, uh, we live to work and we work to live. How many of us here, sa mga nakikinig po sa atin ngayon, how many of us are working for more than 10 years now? Can you uh, please comment po? Pakilagay, if uh, you've been working 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years. I-comment na lang po kung 10, 20, or 30, or more than that. 
I'll wait po for your answers. Ayan. Wala mo nag-reply. Okay. So, my next question for you is, are we now enjoying the fruits of our labor? Or hanggang ngayon, uh, we live from paycheck to paycheck? Or nandun yung worry natin na aabot pa ba to sa quincenas? Paano ko kaya itong pagkakasya? Do we live the life God designed us and desired us to have? Before we can truly understand yung stewardship na sinasabi, we must first understand yung impact ng sin sa attitude natin at sa environment natin. Diba? Uh, instead of uh, proper use, we abuse. Yes, we abuse. We abuse the nature, the creation of God. Kung mapapansin nyo ngayon, talagang yung global warming, sobra na. Yan, yan yung mga impact sa environment natin. And rather than we manage and distribute, we just accumulate and accumulate. We hoard it. We never share it. And rather than cooperation, kakaroon ng greed. And greed leads to exploitation. Man's affection for his creator is supplanted by his desire for the physical creation. Sabay nga po sa uh, 1 Timothy verse 6, chapter 10. Uh, basahin po natin. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people, craving money, have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. So, we see, money is now a source of anxiety rather than a blessing. Di ba pag ang dami mong pera, ewan ko ah, hindi naman siguro lahat, parang andun palaging fear na hala ba kami nakaw, maubos, mawala ka na nakakatulog ng maayos sa gabi kasi you are a very uh, you are very concerned sa mga material na bagay. Maalala ko pala. Uh, pag lalabas kami ng bahay, yung nanay ko ayaw sumama. Kasi daw, walang magbabantay sa bahay. O diba? Parang tayo, nag-worry tayo kasi ano, mawawala yung bahay. Parang ganun. Wala na tayong peace of mind na pakapagbalik natin, wala na, nasunog na, parang gano'n. And sabi nga, ni, sabi nga sa Matthew 6.21, design po natin. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Actually, yung mga preceding uh, verses po neto, maganda kasi actually it teaches us about uh, money and possessions. In verse 19, it says, Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moth and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. And lastly, the world is now in rebellion against the Creator. In 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to 16, it says, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. So, we see 
uh, we see the consequences we are facing. But don't lose hope. Kasi our Creator is also our Redeemer. So, I just wanna ask, yung paghahari po ba ng Diyos ay nasa sa atin na ba? As we see our creation, our redemption, and our stewardship are bound together. Hindi po yan pwedeng paghiwalayin. Magkakasama po talaga yan. Because salvation is not just a matter of saving a man's soul. It is saving a man as a whole. If we acknowledge God's kingship, it affects every aspect of our life in terms of our stewardship in time, talents, gifts, opportunities, and what. Hindi pwedeng sasabihin natin na, yes, I have, I have been redeemed. We surrendered our life. Si Lord na yung uh, in control. Pero, except sa pera, walang ganun Mars. Dapat walang reservation. Dapat all out tayo kay Lord. And, mag-ingat tayo kasi baka hindi na tayo kay Lord, kundi Lord na tayo. So, I just, uh, before we end, I just want to leave you a question that uh, kung saan magre-reflect tayo. Do we trust God in every aspect of our life without reservations? Meron pa bang area ng life natin na hindi si Lord ang naghahari. I just want you to ponder on these questions tonight. And, ayun, uh, I hope marami po tayong natutunan. So, let's pray po. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for we uh, have a uh, we have a God like you. Meron kaming generous God who gives us blessing. And Lord, we thank you for we learn the aspect, the mission aspect of every blessings you give us, you give to us. Maraming salamat, Lord, dahil nire-remind yung kami, Panginoon, na you are our creator. You are the owner of everything. You are the God of everything. And we are your stewards. We are your managers, your caretakers, Panginoon. Lord, ang laking impact na malaman ng Panginoon yung role namin in your creation. Indeed, Lord, we own nothing in this world. Kami ang yung possession, so God. And I pray, O oh Lord, na you open yung hearts namin kung meron pa mang area ng buhay namin na hindi kayo nagahari, Panginoon. Patawarin niyo po kami. Kayo po ang maghari sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay ng Father God. And Lord, as we end tonight, I pray, O God, na uh, kayo po yung mag-empower sa aming Panginoon. Na maging mabuting steward nyo. And I pray, O God, that you may found us faithful until the very end. Lord, kayo po ang mag-ingat sa amin. And I pray, O oh God, na lahat ng bagay na meron kami, we dedicate it all to you. And we use it for your, for the furtherance of your kingdom. We use it for your glory, O oh God. And we just want to acknowledge you, O oh God. You are the most powerful God. You are our creator. And we just want to, to honor you. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, maraming salamat po sa pagsama niyo sa amin ngayong gabi. And sana po ay uh, magkita-kita po tayo ulit bukas ng gabi, same time, 8 o'clock. And I hope and pray na marami po tayong natutunan tonight. And God bless po. Bye! Forget to share, like, follow, and subscribe. God bless. God bless you.